<laughs> so uh, today is, what's the date today? December 7th. Yes, December 7th. No, it's the 8th today. It's the 8th. Frank, what day is it? Today? Yeah. Tuesday. Yeah. Okay, it's Tuesday. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's the 8th. So, um, yeah, that's what we were wondering. Yeah. Gonna take you over to drill number two. Oh, right into the slush. So on this drill, they've already changed all these points. This was the other one that they would have taken off. They said that uh, they actually got that uh, bolt out on about half of them. The other half they had to smash off. And as you know, we already took the wheel off. Remember, we did that on the other drill, the drill mayhem or whatever, whatever kind of gong show we were doing there the other day with the crew. We have a great crew. Um, so that's done. Now we're just working over here, um, cleaning them up, taking them apart, and putting them all back together. Uh, what are you doing here, buddy? This is Lee, by the way. Okay. Just scrubbing out the hubs. So we're going to take out these races. Frank left the bearing races, yep. Yeah. And you want to clean all the grease out first. There's no contamination or filings. And then we're going to torch them out. Yep. Yeah. And then we're going to clean up the uh, axles and reuse them. The shafts, yep. Yeah. So we've completely stripped them apart, taken them apart, and he's cleaning them. And then this is his clean product. Right here. And uh, what are you using there, buddy? Diesel? Diesel. Diesel. Diesel with the occasional gasoline. So this is the finished product. Now this is not fully done yet. Cause see this race in here? This has got to get cut out. And this one's got to get cut out. Mike, well why, why are you cutting them out? Why don't you just take a, a punch or a chisel or something and pound them out? Cause that doesn't work. Lee, does that work? No. <laughs> you have to have... That doesn't work. A chisel Not made of titanium. Titanium. <laughs> and you need the Hulk. Yeah. And by the time the Hulk is done with the chisel of titanium, you don't have a, you don't have a hub anymore. No. You, so... And we've tried. And we've tried. Frank's we have. Tried Frank's tried everything. Just about darn near everything. Other than some explosives. We haven't tried explosives yet. But uh, I don't know why we haven't, to be quite honest with you. You may say, why haven't we just bought new ones? What a cost. Oh yeah, there's a, there's a thing. Well, I did mention that in my other video. So uh, I think the bearing's around 40 to $60 to do, not counting all of our labor to do it. Um, to buy a whole new assembly with a new one of these, new this with new bearings and everything, all pre-packaged, ready to rock and roll, is about 160 So it's about $100 more per hub. Well, Mike, I have questions. I figured you would. How many hubs are on a drill? Well, there's 84 on that. And then there's 84 on the other one. Then there's 84 on the other one and so on. So you guys kind of figured it out. So that's quite a bit more money. Right, Lee? Yeah. Okay. So now we're cleaning. So these ones still have to get cut out. Here's This is all the ones that got to get cut out yet. These four here, I'm just cleaning them up with a rag. So they've already been cut out. So they're a little warm. They've, they have cooled, but they're still a little toasty. This one's been cut out as well, you can see. So uh, basically all I've been doing is just getting in here with a rag, cleaning them all out. Flip it over. And then that's basically what I've been doing. Here, this is the to-do, this is the done. Already reassembled and ready to rock and roll. These are just spare parts. These are the bearings. All the old ones that we've taken off and all the races that we've cut. Okay, so I got all these ones all cleaned up. These three are ready to go. Frank is here, he's gonna start cutting the races out of all these. He typically do a big batch. That way they can cool. Right, Frank? Remember there's two. 
one on each side. done you guys get the idea so then it's gonna do all this and then we're gonna take hammer and chisel and then we're gonna knock them out how many of these have you done all rounding up on 160 160 Yeah. Wow, well, did you think that anyone forgot about you out here? No. <laughs> you see, my look at the view. Look how beautiful that is. It is. You talking the Dodge? You talking the. Uh... No, well, <laughs> Let's not go there. Right? Okay, we're not going to go there. Oh, man. Waiting for Frank to cut those things. I'll just show you these. These are already done, remember? But there's a snap ring in here, and um, it's not super fun to get out. So you gotta pop that off, pop the cap off, and then you gotta get the, well you take the tire off, get the bearings out, and then, um, this greasy shaft is the bearing smasher. And then, these are the packers that split all the way around. So these are all the packers that are garbage. Because these packer rubbers, they get wore out too. And I do believe the V-packer, this is classified as a V-packer, hence the V. Um, wear out faster than the perfectly round ones. So these are all garbage. Okay, now we've got to chisel them out. Hard to see. Do they normally come fairly easy after that, Frank, or you gotta really pound them? Uh, not all of them. Just depends on whether it did there it is. cut through all the way. There it is. One done. So that's a hot one. It's got to cool. So as you can see, it's fairly labor intensive. Frank, what's this greasy shaft thing here? Again, just make sure. Oh, so, yeah, so it is the bearing smasher. I was right. Okay. What was that? What was that? Lee is using his voice So Lee has to take a spatula. Can I see this here? Oh yeah, he's got to take all the grease out of, hub cap. of these hubcaps. Make sure there's no contamination or anything. Get them clean and then... Uh, see like there. Oh yeah. So once you get them empty, like this, then we wash them, correct? Yep. yep. Wow, that was, incredibly, uh, no. that was incredibly loud, I'm not going to lie. Reclaimed grease. Yeah. Oh, here's these snap rings. Not much of a snap ring, but uh, still pain in the butt. Did you just sharpen your punch? Yep. Why did you sharpen your punch again? So I could catch the edge on the race. How often did you have to? How often do you got to do that, buddy? Probably one every ten. Oh. 
You notice it makes a pretty big difference? Big. So as you can see, we have an assembly line. Yeah, that's the finished cut product. Oh, the, oh, the cut. Yeah. yeah. Do you have ear protection there, Frank? Or? Yep. <laughs> steel, steel, toe, steel toe boots. That's when it's going to do it. Walk us through the smashing. That's on there. Yeah, okay, so we got bearings. Yeah, yeah, we got bearings. Yeah. Pick them up. Yeah. And go, boom. Comes out. Got it. That's kind of what we were thinking, but uh, I really appreciate the example. Thank you. You were one. What are we going to do with that? That's a great question. We're going to recycle it. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. All right, next we're going to pull this apart. And that is over here. We just grabbed one of those. We're going to pull it all apart because those are still have to be done, right? Right. Frank built a, what do you call that? I don't know, just a stand. Stand. That's the word we're looking for. Yeah. Because these things are seized up solid, right? That bolt. Oh, this one's pretty good. Uh, no. No? no that so we heat each one of these things up. Some are so tight that we can't even spin it with an impact. Heating it up. Why are we heating it up? Good question. So that way we can get that bolt out. And then uh, that those bolts will fall down there. And then we have new bolts to put back in. Packing bearings. Cooling it so we can work with it. And then we coat them with anti seize. So maybe when we do this again, we don't actually have to heat every one of these things up. That's kind of what we're going for here. What are you doing? Making room for more hubs. Okay. So Frank can cut. Yeah, got it. Moves good. And then we can tighten it actually too much if you're not careful, and you, it will actually be solid. So you're trying to find that happy medium so you can still move it. That looks to be pretty good. Now this has already been assembled by the bearing packing people and Terry's my older brother's putting the bearings in. Now Frank, how do you know, is there a wrong way that you can put this in or have you ever? Uh, yep, I put them on wrong twice. <laughs> but twice out of 160 actually isn't too bad. So far. <laughs> so you just got to remember uh, nut side goes to the uh, numbers over here. These are our spare tires. Oh, those aren't the spares. Those are the actual Packer tires. So these ones are still good. These are all the bearings that are packed, right? Right. The fancy dancy packing machine. Stick your bearing on there. Thread that thing down. Use the automated grease gun.
Then we just put the bolts back in. And then I'll carry it over to the other side. And then that is it. That is done. One more down and... One, two, three, four... Thirty or so here left to go. Yeah. Okay, so... Lee and I are going to start uh, carrying these things out and placing them. So each one has a number. M23, again, if you watched my last video, that's middle number 23. B28 is for the back row, and there should be an F for front row. Yeah, F1, for example. So I'm going to start taking these, and we're going to start placing them. Which one does it even grab here? B22, so back row number 22, M1, M28, oh, so we're close here, 27, 26, 25, 23, 22, oh, kind of come apart on me here, hold on, so I placed that one, now we're just going to head back and grab some more, I might put my phone down so I can take two at a time, you know, be a little more productive. You got this, Lee. As we're uh, hauling these wheels out, um, we noticed that we have beautiful sunsets. And I think I've pointed that out before. Saskatchewan, on our license plate, actually says Land of the Living Skies. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it does. So we always get beautiful sunsets all the time. And what time is it right now? Because the sun's down. Like, uh, yeah, and the sun is down. Like our days are around seven hours or seven and a half actual hours of sunlight during uh, this time of year, which is kind of depressing if you think about it. <laughs> but our summers, we're in that 16 hour, 16 and a half or something like that, hours of sunlight. So we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna keep, ch we're gonna keep chugging. Yeah, I'm gonna need to get a ride. Ashton's heading home. She works quite a bit in the office as well as I do. And look at that sky, you guys. Isn't that awesome? We were just commenting on it. It's beautiful. That's like photo worthy. So wait, are you going to come back and pick me up? Like for tonight? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just let me know when you're ready. <laughs> okay, sounds good. See you later. My what? My laptop. Okay, God, thanks. Pretty much got, um... All the ones that they actually had done, like we're only about half, two thirds done, the openers or the yeah, the packer bearings on this drill. So we pretty much Lee and I got them placed. Right, Lee? We're just about got them placed. This is the sit on. So I got the plus six today, which is crazy. Short sweater out here. Here are some of the points we broke off. They're literally melted into the snow now, I see, but... Okay, well... Okay. It's almost a wrap, I think. Yeah, about 6 o'clock, we're about headed home. Call the day around this camp. Thought we were done. We were back, Lee and I are back chiseling now. Yeah. So, uh, basically what we gotta do, these are hot. So, yeah. just keep that in mind. Warm your hands up, though. Yeah. You can kind of see down here, see that lip, that lip right down here. You kind of want to get that chisel on it right there. And then you want to give that a whack. And I can't do that. And I can't do that and hold the phone at the same time. You gave it two whacks, loosened it right off. I could probably get it out. If I can't, then I might have to get hit this side. Yeah, I have to do it, turn it around. Don't hit your finger, Lee. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna work I'm on mine too. I'm gonna. <laughs> we go. Pop this one out, then turn it around, and uh, you gotta go underneath through here. You gotta hit it just under here. See that lip? That shiny part. Put the chisel down there, and, and then uh, give that a whack while holding it up, and you'll pop that uh, race right out of there. Some come out easier than others. Huh? Thank you. No. Have you ever 
Oh yeah. All the time. To be truthful, I think have you I think Frank has done this the most. I think his hands are accustomed to uh, a better beating. Right Frank? Yep. Frank's the video guy right now. If Frank, uh, if Frank for some reason didn't cut one right through, for some reason there's a lot of those. <laughs> <laughs> if Frank didn't cut one right through, which I can't tell, then they don't uh, they don't quite come out so good. But that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. I would too. Frank, I can't get this one. I don't want to be that guy, but like how long have I been struggling on this thing? Is it even moving? Ask me to do it. No. Frank, Frank, <laughs> how's, your, how's your skills here, buddy? Can't quite get that chisel on it. I'm going to get it. I might have to sharpen up my chisel. See you on the flip you side. Betcha. See you, Terry. Oh, I got it, Frank. Yeah! Going, going. I just want to... Nice. Now Frank's back to... Uh, it. These things won't hardly move with a pipe on them. That one does. Oh, that one does. He's almost tipped this bench back. Not even going to lie. Frank, how many have you got out of it so far today that you haven't had to heat up? Just refresh our memory. Two or three. Two or three. Out of almost 60. That's about how many we did today? 60? Actually, you did? We're almost there. As, uh, I've done, like, not that many because I came pretty late. Then we put new bolts in, like I said, and we do the anti seize. These bearings are all packed up. Terry's the bearing putter in her. <laughs> right, Frank? <Put> her in her. <laughs> oh, man. Sometimes you got to think about things that I actually say. So we're done this. Stocked up some more. Frank is, Frank is part machine. He is actually part Terminator. You just didn't know that. And uh, we'll throw these in with the recycling. Oh, whoops. Oh, whoops. Come on, Mike. Holy crap. Basketball wasn't my thing. But anyways. Okay, so what's up? What's the plan? Anything? Is that it? We're calling it? When are we going to call it? We keep going, but we keep saying we're going to call it, but then we keep going, and then we keep saying we're going to call it, and then we keep going, and when are we, gonna, when are we actually going to call it? Terry called it. Uh, no. Oh, we got a nice little Christmas tree. Oh, Frank, are you going to weld this together for us? I think you need one more down here, buddy. Yeah. One more right there. You didn't know this just saved me a pile of money on what to buy my wife for Christmas. See? <laughs> There! Jingle up. bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. No, I probably shouldn't do that. Eh? <laughs> Alright guys, we're done. We're going home. We're going home. Actually, uh, since we're going home, uh, could someone give me a ride home? Sure. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Ashton already went home. Yeah. Say what? I'll give all of you a ride. ride home, get, he's giving you a ride home too? Yeah. Done. Done. We're done. We're shutting, we're shutting down. We're shutting down.
We're calling it. I don't know what. We're done. See you guys.